The Tokyo Motor Show is regarded as one of the most diverse in the industry, encompassing the best of Japan's native car makers as well as its idiosyncratic car culture, with wild tuning cars, boxy K cars and more. The 45th edition of the Biennial Show is underway, and Autocars team is on deck to bring you live coverage. At the show we have editorial director Jim Holder, editor Mark Tishaw, news editor Rachel Burgess and staff writer Jimmy Beckwith. Their coverage and that of our contributing writers can be found below with the local time JST. Tokyo Motor Show The headlines Honda Sports F shows intent for future electric performance car Mazda rotary engine to return as range-extending hybrid Lexus Lux concept illustrates autonomous tech due in 2020 flagship Honda could launch successor 2S2000 Yamaha cross hub concept revealed Nissan Leaf 2018 review you can read all our stories from the 2017 Tokyo Motor Show here and check out our latest analysis of the key events in Japan here scroll down to to see a list of the key cars revealed at the Tokyo Motor Show 1902 Japanese manufacturers are as anxious as anyone that Brexit goes smoothly. Mazda UK boss Jeremy Thompson said, referring to its 15% decrease in UK sales year to date this year, that the negative impact has been seen ever since the Brexit scenario started. He added that helps very keen that the UK government forms a free trade agreement with Japan to help ensure good business once Brexit is complete. 1832 want to take a quick tour of the Tokyo Motor Show halls well, we've done the legwork for you in a handy video. And then handily sped it up, so it will take up even less of your precious time. Enjoy! 1817 Mitsubishi would have struggled to survive the switch to electrified, connected and autonomous cars on its own, according to Executive Vice President Mitsuhiko Yamashita. Not so now it is part of an alliance with Renault and Nissan. Mitsubishi was a million car a year company, now it's part of a 10 meters a year group. Only with group structures can you develop this, he said. Read about the Mitsubishi Evolution SUV concept here. 1729 Some big breaking news from Hishigo, who refused to rule out the prospect of a new S2000 sports car. Apparently, it could depend on public enthusiasm. Go on, show how enthusiastic you are by checking out the full story here. 1720 worried all electric cars will end up being homogenized with battery and electric motor technology Honda boss Takahiro Hashigo reckons no more so than a car with a petrol engine, and believes the freedom of electric cars will allow manufacturers to create cars and complete packages even more diverse than rival offerings now. It's about who can offer the most complete package to the consumer, that's the point, he said. 1717 Mark Tishaw has been off to heart from Honda boss Takahiro Hashigo and there was some early chat about fuel cells. These provide the cleanest possible solution for future motoring according to Hashigo as they generate their own power on board. To that end, Honda will not slow down its development of the technology, even if the infrastructure continues to lag. 1654 Mazda has long been linked to rotary engines, but the firm HASNT had a Wankel unit in production since it stopped making the RX-8 back in 2012. But that's going to change now it's bring back the rotary as a range-extending hybrid, check out the full story here. 1632 Although there's no official Aston Martin stand in Tokyo, Jim Holder notes that a DB11 resides on tire partner Bridgestone's display in a delegation led by chief designer Marek Reichman toward the show. Aston has long been popular with Japanese buyers, and boss and former Nissan bigwig Andy Palmer made sure to strengthen ties with the country when he took the helm of the firm. 1608 How quickly can you design a concept car around eight months if you're a Yamaha's chief designer Zheng Hian Chol and you don't have a prescribed platform or powertrain to work around? As such, the cross-hub concept is more conceptual than most, but even so it is a remarkably credible piece of work given the time frames. We got the brief to create a car that showed how Yamaha would do a car in January, he says. Nobody said build a pickup with SUV looks they just said build a car that typifies Yamaha. This is the result of some very intense work. 1547 Does Honda's factory in Swindon have a future post-Brexit? Most definitely, according to CEO Takahiro Hashigo. On Brexit, he said we would like to see clear rules and conditions when Brexit happens. We do not think there will be a drastic change of strategy in the UK. 
maybe possibly well make some small changes as part of an adjustment, but there's no plan to drastically change Honda's strategy. 1508 Subris head of design, Mamoru Shii, claims he had no inkling how his latest Visive performance concept car would be received prior to the Tokyo Motor Show, according to Jim Holder. I was not certain how it would be received, but so far we have a lot of positive interest, he said. However, he denied he had the next-gen WRX in mind when he oversaw its creation, saying instead we just wanted to explore the future of performance for Subaru and provoke reaction that we can respond to. Whether the WRX or a similar car looks like this will be down to the reaction, not me. 1452 Mark Tishaw has uncovered that the designer of the Honda Sports F concept, Makoto Harada, won an internal competition ahead of 150 others from design studios around the world. He was the sole designer of the project and did it in a super tight turnaround. Tish adds the best bit a cheese and auto car subscriber, so clearly a man of excellent taste, excellent taste, indeed. Would now be a good time to mention you can get great deals on auto car subscriptions they make excellent Christmas presents too. Christmas too soon, probably, Halloween gift, maybe 1445 while there's plenty of attention on the Japanese cars at their home show, Jim Holder reckons the French are impressing too interesting to see the new Renault Sport Megane RS attracting such a big crowd. Japan is a key market for Renault Sport but, famously for lovers of left foot workouts, only buys cars even hot hatches with an automatic gearbox. Other growing Asian markets have followed suit, which explains why the Clio RS doesn't get a manual option, and why the Megane RS can be bought with either. Insiders put the bias down to the fact that the automatic's paddle shift is more like in line with how F1 drivers operate, although there is also speculation that Tokyo's traffic-logged roads mean an auto is less hassle most of the time. 1433 Jimmus in two minds Honda's show area is a little split it has tremendous Wi-Fi and an incredible number of interesting models to look at but getting any work done is a challenge there are toy cars embedded in the floor in the pillars of the canopy and exhibits around me are making loud chirping noises every few seconds this S660 is in its own underground garage in the floorboards 1415 The Mitsubishi Evo has been a buzzword for this year's show, but it's not as present as it seems, says Mark Think the new Mitsubishi Evo is back not quite. The concept car actually previews a new B-segment SUV due in 201,819 that will rival the new Duke, while the three-motor electric technology will go into future models. The Evo it will be back, but not before 202,223. It may or may not be an SUV, it may or may not be electric-powered. That's to be decided. The Evo name is used here to show Mitsubishi has it in its locker still. 1359 Bittersweet news for Formula E Nissan has joined the poor electric race series but will replace Renault, which will leave after the 20,172,018 season. Nissan will be the first Japanese car maker in the burgeoning motorsport series. 1345 Nissan's senior vice president of design, Alfonso Albesa, looks back to a bigger age of Japanese motoring, says Jimmy, straight out of a conference. Albesa referred everyone to Tokyo Motor Shows of the early 1990s, which were much bigger during the bubble of Japan. 1326 Some good news for fans of UK design legend Gordon Murray, says Jim although the third Yamaha road car concept to be shown in as many Tokyo Motor shows is the first to be done, without the input of Gordon Murray design, the city and sports car concepts that he has produced previously are progressing to the engineering prototype stage according to Yamaha chiefs. They say they will spend a few more years studying the feasibility of both cars, but remain optimistic the projects could reach fruition. 1310 Doubting Subaru Don't, says Jim Holderson might think Subaru is at a crossroads, its faithful mix of four-wheel driver, boxer engines and old-fashioned rugged appeal approaching its sell-b date. But judging by the depth of the crowds fighting to see the latest concept to WRX by any other name building a car for petrol heads still resonates with the masses. Global sales are up, and judging by the fervor on the stand there could be more good news to come too. 1255 One of the world's largest car makers has a mixed stage presence Has there ever been a stand as diverse as Toyota's at a motor show They've got everything from a hydrogen-powered bus through to a targa-roofed sports car with the quirkiest automatic gearbox for many a year, with everything from next-generation hydrogen and battery electric concepts, plus production versions of the new Toyota Crown and Toyota Century in between.
Oh, and then there's the TJ Cruiser, an SUV concept that breaks just about every rule, is modeled on a rectangular toolbox and yet which is, well, massively appealing. It's a lot to take in, but it neatly summarizes Toyota's quirky size and strength. 1237 Jim is enjoying the calm before the storm. The show floor might be a hive of activity, noise and heat, but the press room is a near-silent, perfectly air-conditioned warehouse-sized room with seating for all. Things got a bit louder with the arrival of lunch though. 1212 Volvo's unexpectedly big in Japan, says Rachel. It never really thought that Volvo would be popular in Japan, but I've already seen plenty on the roads. And so I should NT be surprised they have a stand here. They're only pushing the XC60 though and there's no sign whatsoever of the new XC40. 1201 There can't be many motor shows where these two can't draw a crowd. The proximity of the Mazda stand, with its two stunning concepts, doesn't help but the fact is that if you just turn up to a motor show these days without showing something new, heads will scarcely turn. 1154 Jim has some bad news the BMW Z4 is sadly as close as well get to seeing the Toyota Supra with which it shares its platform in Tokyo this year. Word is Toyota should that Bigazoo Racing's offering will be shown sometime next year, prior to an on-sale date in 2019. 1144 Rachel's eyeing a sheeted car. No peeking. Yamaha is due to unveil a car design study judging by the cover shape, it's going to be very interesting. 11.35 There are currently lots of messages on the Office Messenger app with where is X East 16 or 78 flying around confirming that the Tokyo Motor Show is in fact a maze. 11.26 A little local knowledge goes a long way clever marketing from Daihatsu. It clearly knows its English regional dialects. In Norfolk, light you up means cheer up. Its cars certainly do that to you. 11.11 Tishore's patriotism knows no bounds. Britain doesn't have a motor show anymore, yet its legacy and cultural impact lives on in shows elsewhere. 10.55 Die Hats are stealing the show with its five dinky concepts, ranging from a sports car to a wheelchair-accessible vehicle. Kudos to Die Hatsu for unveiling its headline show car alongside a similarly colored part of its heritage. Trouble is, the older car reminds you just how bloated modern vehicles have become, and the fact it is arguably at the expense of a dollop of charm too. 1044 Because mobility solutions are certainly not a new concept Honda is a famously not just a maker of cars, and has a whole glut of other things with wheels at the show, including this futuristic take on the wheelchair. 1034 Mark's not keen to try out the lesser exhibits of Tokyo This looks like a Japanese remake of the Simon Pegnick Frost film, The World's End. I'm not even going to attempt to decipher what's going on here. 1021 Jim is in need of an energy boost already. It might be one of the smaller global motor shows, but Tokyo is proving to be as maze-like as the rest of them. A mental and physical challenge to find the Wi-Fi haven that is the press room from my arrival point. 1012 Everyone's favorite EV concept is about to get overshadowed. My favorite car at Frankfurt was the Honda Urban EV, and I suspect my favorite car from Tokyo might be its sibling the Sports EV. Ask me later. 1000 Toyota's Pragmatic Tokyo presentation has Jim Holder impressed interesting, wide-ranging, address from Toyota Executive President Didier Leroy, on the firm's transition from a car to mobility firm, exemplified by its work to find transport solutions for people with disabilities, through to what he says is world leadership in solid-state battery technology, which he says Toyota holds more patents on than every rival. It's a powerful speech, confident but not swaggering, and portrays Toyota in a more forward-thinking light than is often put forward by company outsiders. 0945 The many, many faces of BMW and the X7 ISNT even here. No chance of Russian doll styling here, at least. 0935 Rachel's not feeling the love for the Leaf Nismo hate to say it, but the Leaf Nismo looks seriously underwhelming. 0925 The world's subtlest reference to rotary. Perhaps Mark's getting dizzy. The turntable on which the Mazda Kai concept is displayed is spinning as fast as I've ever seen one spin. Something to hide, chaps. You don't have to look too closely to see the next Gen 3 in there. 0912 Mazda product strategists. This is an official request. Aston won't be replacing the repeat four door sports car. They rebranded it from a saloon years ago, but Mazda is more than welcome to do it for them with a production version of the stunning Vision Coupe. 0903 Back to work. Burgess, we're here for new metal, one of my favorite cars of all time here. 
seems slightly out of place but given all the classics I've seen on the roads here, ranging from a 2CV to an XJI, perhaps I should NT surprised that the Japanese like their heritage cars 0853 wishful thinking, Mark Subaru has the not 4 UK BRZ STI Sport here among four other show debuts of various degrees of significance. And yet despite its performance makeover, there is still no extra power for its boxer engine. Has Subaru given it an F1-style performance freeze where it can't touch it for years on and give it a good slug of extra power and torque to really differentiate it from its Toyota GT86 sibling? 0849 Rachel's been swatting up on Mazda's design strategy Mazda has stripped back its design even more with its two new concepts, with a philosophy it calls the art of light in which it wants its model surfaces incredibly clean so to manipulate the light. The brand's head of design is trying to combat the lack of elegance in modern cars. 0842 You'd think that once you've seen one motor show, you'd have seen them all. Not so. First time at Tokyo Motor Show for me. Seems calm but intrigued to see how heaving it gets, says Rachel. 0831 At motor shows, journalism is most certainly a contact sport. There's standing room only at home heroes Toyota and Lexus. Word is the secret Lexus concept is indeed the hydrogen-powered version of the LS. Not long until we get confirmation. 0829 Jim Holder's getting his serious ex grilling face on dress rehearsal time at Toyota, to help film crews get the light and sound balance right ahead of Executive Vice President Didier Leroy's arrival for the big announcements. After all the build-up, it's nearly time to get going. 0821 One of the first reveals of the day is this stunning Mazda Vision Coupe concept. Mazda HASNT given word on production, but has said that it's a design study. Don't expect it to be a dramatic replacement to the 60814, Mount Nissan's stand is packed with new leafs it clearly is a huge leap forward tech-wise, but visually when the motoring history books are written, the leaf will be commended for many things a pleasing design not among them. 0808, Mount most major motor shows have the word international in their title, but that's increasingly less the case. Paris feels like a French car show, the recent Frankfurt show a German one and this Tokyo Motor Show is effectively Japan only, with no major debuts outside of countries from outside Japan's four islands. A good thing in my eyes shows were becoming too homogenized. Not so for fairs like Tokyo. 0802, Mount usually not one for teases, but for once we have been suitably teased in the build-up to this show. New Honda and Mazda sports cars and a returning Mitsubishi Evo have whetted the appetite and have a genuine air of intrigue and surprise around them. Today will be a good day. 0800 JH first stop is the Toyota and Lexus press conferences. We've already seen and heard about Toyota's offerings, and the deeper you scratch. Below the seemingly wacky exteriors, the more you learn about the firm's future of hydrogen and artificial intelligence strategies. The real intrigue, though, is an unspecified Lexus concept. The smart money is on it being a hydrogen derivative of the flagship LS, fitting for the home motor show, but perhaps it could be the mooted BMW X1 rival on production form 2017 Tokyo Motor Show. The car's Daihatsu DN range Daihatsu is presenting no fewer than five cars at the Tokyo Motor Show, including a dinky Ford or Coupe, the DN Compagna, small SUV, the DN Trek, larger, three-row SUV in the DN Multi-6, 660cc, petrol-powered U-Space, and the DN Pro cargo concept, which is powered by electric, and is claimed to be a versatile load lugger, suitable for a variety of uses, from wheelchair accessible vehicle, to small mobile cafe, Honda Sports EV Honda's doing a Volkswagen with its electric concepts, and is revealing the Sports EV closely related to the Frankfurt show stealing Urban EV a few weeks ago in Tokyo. It's another virginal white concept, with retro styling cues carried over from its Urban EV sibling. Unlike the Urban EV, Honda HASNT announced a production date for the sports EV, Honda Urban EV, although the Urban EV is being wheeled out at Tokyo for a second bite of the motor show Cherry. Lexus concept alongside its other models, including the new LS, Lexus will showcase a new concept car at the Tokyo Motor Show, which the brand is keeping tight-lipped about until the official press conference. Lexus' last concept was the UX, revealed at the Paris Motor Show in 2016. Given the current electric, autonomous and SUV trends, it's likely that the concept will be an electric, autonomous SUV, Mazda Design Vision Model Neither of Mazda's concepts yet have names, but the Design Vision Model, as Mazda describes it, shows the brand's future styling direction, continuing its Kodo design language, on a dramatic, Ford or Coupe. 
It follows the similarly rakish RX Vision concept of the last Tokyo Motor Show in 2015, Mazda product concept The product concept, despite not being pinned to previewing any specific model, is an unmistakable signpost as to what to expect from the next three. It's a five-door hatchback, powered by Mazda's cutting-edge Skyactiv compression ignition technology, and styling draws inspiration from the new CX-5 Mitsubishi Evolution Mitsubishi is reviving the Evolution name on an unfamiliar car instead of a Raleigh-owned sports saloon. The Evolution is a low-riding coupe SUV, with electric four-wheel drive and advanced autonomous systems. It's not yet confirmed for production, but Mitsubishi says the car would be its flagship should it hit the roads. Mitsubishi Electric MRRE 4 Odd 1, this one it's not Mitsubishi as we know it, but the brand's electrics and tech subsidiary, Mitsubishi Electric. The car might not make production a cease, rather being a test and display bed for human-machine interface tech shown inside, Nissan Electric SUV The Nissan Leaf has been the Japanese car maker's sole electric vehicle since launch, but now the second-generation EV has arrived, Nissan is planning to broaden its electric-powered range with an SUV. Although Nissan revealed the Terra electric SUV concept back in 2012, Nissan says that this is not the car for Tokyo this year. Nissan Leaf Nismo concept Nissan will continue its EV assault with a concept to preview the upcoming Nissan Leaf Nismo a racier version of the best-selling EV which it's bringing to the Tokyo show later in the month. Subaru Visive Performance Concept Subris Tokyo Bound Concept is an aggressive box-arched performance saloon, with the angular face of the Impreza up front and a ducktail spoiler at the rear. Subaru HASNT yet revealed any details of the car, so look out on show day for full specs, Suzuki e Survivor concept and now for something completely different. Alongside the new Dimni, Suzuki will also show its e Survivor concept, designed to be the future of the small off-roader. It has an electric motor for each wheel, huge ground clearance, two seats, an open roof and considerable off-road potential. Toyota Finer Comfort Ride Concept Bet you can guess what this is being pitched against Toyota's going outlandish, with its Finer Comfort Ride Concept, which is said to propose a new form of the premium saloon in a low-carbon society. You guessed it, the Mercedes-Benz class is in its sights, with a wheelbase 30 cm longer than Mercedes saloon, and a focus upon comfort inside. Toyota GRHV Sports Concept If Toyota made all the sports cars which it produced concepts for, ITD be a very sports car heavy brand. The GRHV is a hybrid sports car based on the GT86, with rear wheel drive, and a bizarre automatic gearbox, with manual gear lever. Toyota TJ Cruiser Concept Alongside the GRHV Sports in Tokyo will be a TJ Cruiser Concept pictured above. This hybrid model hints at the brand's future SUV design direction with retro styling, chunky dimensions and a modular interior. Toyota Crown Concept Not one for us A Toyota Crown Concept will also be on show, offering a glimpse of the next-generation Japan-focused model with Internet of Things connectivity, as well as the next-generation Century, another domestic market offering. Toyota Century range toppers don't get much more different than this. Toyota will also bring its next-generation Century a luxurious rival to the Mercedes-Benz class to the show. It's got a V12 under the bonnet, and styling straight out of a graphic novel.